And they're like, what happened? And I said, Dakota bit his thumb off and we had to sew his thumb onto his forehead because it wouldn't fit on his hand anymore. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome to a busted episode of Like the Queens. Yeah, you guys have to expect at least one of these <laughs> every few weeks. We're working gals <laughs> and sometimes we're tired. <laughs> Very tired. We are recording this at 9 30 at night mm-hmm. because there is literally no other time in the day to do that. Not a single other time of the day. But we're enjoying life and we're having a good time. So. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's yawning because nice. I'm yawning because I'm having a great time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what yeah. was the weekly weekly recap? <laughs> and and our Wi-Fi keeps cutting in and out on both of us. So if there's like issues, that's why. <laughs> that's why. I'm blaming it on the snow flurry outside. Um, that's probably messing up the signal. Anyway, we can I'm, recap. <laughs> I'm blaming it on all the people in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. There's also a lot of people in this apartment building. So I'll also blame it on that. Yeah. <laughs> Week, weekly recap um rehearsals uh traveling for auditions shows that's on my end I'm alive and I'm starting another new job tomorrow at a bougie boutique did I tell yeah. you that no but I love that for you yes it's at this I won't even be spending my money there because it's too expensive for me <laughs> but okay so that's good that's good I got a full part-time job at this boutique in Berkdale. Remember where I took you shopping when you visited? Yes. Yeah, I got yes. a little part-time job there. And um, there's not many workers. It's a small store. It's small, expensive. And I don't get commission. I get, like, store bucks. So, like, instead of getting money for, like, what I sell, I get money to, like, buy things in the store and stuff. Hey. So it's feeding my shopping problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a win-win, though. It is a win-win. It'll motivate you to sell stuff, I guess, if there's something cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to save up my store bucks and buy me something. Exactly. My weekly recap is um, the same. I've been in rehearsals, and I actually didn't do any performances this week because we've just been in rehearsals, but they've been all day from the morning till the night. Uh-huh. But it's so much fun. I truly am having so much fun. I know it doesn't sound oh, like it, but I am having fun. I also got sick again this week, guys. Um, That's your thing. You guys are probably like, wow, not even surprised. And uh, honestly, me too. <laughs> I went to the doctor. He was like, what's wrong? I was like, can you hear me? Because at that point, I was like <laughs> sneezing. I was popping up my whole left lung. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're pretty sick. Here's some steroids. And I said, thank you so much, sir. And now I'm feeling a lot better. Even though I sound congested, I'm feeling a lot better. That's good. So, that's really good. That's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's what we've been up to. Rehearsal. Um, let me tell you, let me tell you one thing I did on Saturday. And I hope, Okay. I mean, I'm sure my boss would find this hilarious. So we worked this like dino day kind of thing. And I was the dino trainer with okay. this guy, with the, with my friend Dallas, who was, um Dakota the the velociraptor I think that's what he was and these kids kept trying to put their fingers like in the dinosaur's mouth or like trying to beat it up and stuff like that and I'm like you don't want to do that you don't want to know what happened to the last kid that did that and they're like what happened and I said Dakota bit his thumb off and we had to sew his thumb onto his forehead because it wouldn't fit on his hand anymore (laughs) <laughs> and I'm like yeah the kid walks around with a thumb on his forehead now so you better not do that <laughs> scared the children it's honestly the only way to get the work done I, I was, love that it was 
so funny. And like whenever kids like just would not leave him alone or like oh, boys get rowdy and they'd start like punching the dinosaur, Dallas would go and swing it and knock the living head out of the kids and they're like plummeting to the ground. <laughs> this giant velociraptor is just like running on top of them and they're like <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> and I'm just like I really can't control him I'm like I know I'm a dinosaur <laughs> trainer but like this is him you guys this is him yeah. and like the, the parents like mostly the dads were dying laughing every time their kid got like sucker punched out by the dinosaur <laughs> but like that was the funniest but like most chaotic thing I've ever been a part of that sounds interesting what was this for just like it was for like like a little mini fair thing you know how they have like performers and oh, like and stuff mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. yeah that's what it was Love for <laughs> it was so funny honestly <laughs> dang <gasps> Saturday was eventful. I don't even know. It was eventful and it was really funny. I'm trying to think like I was telling my mom all the stories. Like when the dinosaur, when Dallas is like running, going crazy in the suit, and I'm like, the kids are chasing after I'm like, "Ah!" and I'm like, "Ah!" I'm like throwing these kids, like knocking them down, like a football player, and I'm like, so no mercy. <laughs> oh, here's the other really funny thing. And so when when I wasn't like with Dallas, I never got to end up doing this because it was crazy. I would have like a puppet that's like a dinosaur thing, and, like yeah. a baby dinosaur. And, like you put your hand in here and you just hold it like a baby, and then like you hold your your hand, your glove on this side, and then your actual hand goes through the puppet. Well, yeah. the the puppet company like they gave me the dinosaur, and they're like hold it like a baby, and I said okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. and I hold, I'm holding the dinosaur they're like no like a baby and I'm like okay and I like put it on my hip I'm like what what do you want me to do and he goes give me the dinosaur <laughs> and this is how you hold a baby <laughs> okay I feel like I would have done the same thing I would have put it on my hip and been like this is weird <laughs> my child and I was like obviously I'm a mother obviously I know what <laughs> I'm, I'm a doing. mother <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mother. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. And I said to my director, I was like, Caleb, I just learned how to hold a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to do this show with like 500 children chasing us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I love uh, that. What I, what I tell you is the most chaotic thing I've ever been a part of. It was the most chaotic thing I've ever been a part of. <laughs> so fun and great memories oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) I love an interactive moment like that oh me too it was great (laughs) but yeah that's my week (laughs) how fun I'm like I don't even know yesterday I had rehearsal we had rehearsal on Saturday but it was very productive and we did what we had to do this is my first day off and I spent it doing (laughs) auditions but you know you do what you gotta do to stay booked and busy I haven't had a day off (laughs) yeah and sorry about that (laughs) I'm going to Miami next weekend yes you are yeah so uh, when we record our next episode it's gonna be like Monday night (laughs) okay Okay. We, we like Monday afternoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they'll be able to hear about all the crazy things that go down in Miami. Miami <laughs> is a crazy place. You know, I've never been there, like, actually to, like, mm-hmm. enjoy myself. So I can't wait to hear the stories. To I, decide, I decided on the first black dress that I posted a picture of with the straps. Yes. And it looks like leather through here. And it's, like, sea yeah. and it looks like underwear. <laughs> <laughs> no I like that I like that one thank you I'm taking back the other I bought two because I asked Lil if I was like wanting to go for it but I didn't know which one I'd like better yeah smart thank you oh, pardon thank me you. <laughs> you also keep getting frozen oh that's not happening on my end um so it's me it's my fault 
<laughs> that just means um, it will be so top tier. Let me let me tell you about just a slight slight little boy drama that happened. I think it was this past week, and I don't think I mentioned it to you. Okay. And it's not about waiter. We're still waiter and I. We're we're in a really good place. We're in a That's good, good place. Yeah. I'm not pushing anything. We're just like solid. We might go on a date for our first date in weeks on mm-hmm. Tuesday, which I really hope we do. Um, but things have been really good between us. And because of that, like I feel happier, like knowing where I stand with him. Because like not knowing where I stand with him and like uh he was gone for a few days on vacation and I was breaking out about that. Like he's not talking to me. He's yeah. not to be and that's really hard, but like, uh, just talking to him and hearing like that he still feels the same way about me and yeah. like he wants our relationship to be back to what it was when he's ready. Like it's, it's just like what I needed to hear. For <laughs> you know? sure. Yeah. Yeah. I that need, what's that called? Reassurance. Like, I need some reassurance. We all life. do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but in other news, do you remember the detective? Yes. That was a hot minute ago. He has tried for the second time again to come back into my life. Interesting. Yeah. Big move on his part. (laughs) He randomly messaged me, I think it was this week, and he's like, thinking of you. And I was just like, I hope you're doing well. And he's like, I am. How are you? I'm like, I'm doing good. Like, is he? Blah, blah, blah. Like, last time he reached out is when I was like, look, I'm seeing someone and I don't want to see anyone yeah. else right now so I want to focus on this which is like still true even though things are like a little different between us now I still like I don't want to go yeah. back I don't want to go back to the detective guy and like this is what I wanted to bring up and talk to you about like what do you consider like okay to give someone a second chance um, because I consider like what he did to me a reason not to give him a second chance. And that was because he ghosted me right when my grandfather was dying. And I told him that, that I wasn't doing okay. And I was really upset and how my grandfather yes. was in the hospital. And then he never checked in on me until like two months later. Yeah. I agree with that because that is selfish. He yeah, goes to do when you needed somebody, just like somebody. Like that's a really hard thing to go through. And then he decided to come back when he wanted you back two months yep. later. Mm-hmm. And, and in his mind, him. I don't want to put words into his mouth, but like it's probably okay. probably like a like a oh she's she's probably healed. She's probably moved on. You know, not that you can move on from something like that. And I don't know if that's what he was thinking. But for a guy who, for any guy around our age, that's probably what's going through their mind. Oh, she's probably a little better now. So I can probably see her. She's probably happier so I can take her out now. Yeah, yeah. And like, but if you really cared about our relationship and cared about me and like wanting to grow our emotional connection like that then he would have yeah. been with me through all of that like he would have that would have been a great example like, yeah yeah it would have shown the kind of guy like I want to be with mm-hmm. and the kind of guy um the kind of partner that you want to have which is like what I'm trying to do with the waiter guy right now because he's going through a really hard time and like relationships are not always 50 50 and because yeah. he has to take a step back, that doesn't mean that I stop showing him any less amount of love or care because of that. Yeah. I agree. And, and I, he like wants a second chance. Like he said to me, I, I, I'm sure I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago when he reached out to me the first time. He told me like, I didn't ghost you. He was just trying to give you some space with what you were going through with your grandfather. And he goes, but then I did honestly forget to reach back out after that. And I'm like, how do you forget about someone when they're literally losing one of the most important people in their life? Yeah. And like, how are you going to say that you cared about them if you forgot about them? Yeah, if you forgot about them. <laughs> if, you, if you forgot about something, you didn't care about it that much. No, you didn't. Sorry. Yeah, and no. he, 
he's also the guy who love bombed me yeah was, okay yes, yes, yes yeah he was like oh you're the greatest you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen yeah. I've ever gone out with you're the kind of girl I wanted to bring home to meet my mom I'm crazy about you blah 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 if you meant all of those things you would have stayed in my life for the chance for me to meet your mom if you really yeah. meant that yeah no I would not give him a moment in in my no. my life again. No. no. no okay. And my mom, my mom has asked me, she's like, I told her, I was like, so and so like has messaged me again, like how he misses me, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, Well, what are you gonna do about that? Like, are you gonna see him? And I'm like, why would I? Yeah. If he's not gonna be there for me when my grandfather's dying, that's all I need to know. <laughs> No, quite literally. <laughs> if he's not going to be there for you during the hardest part of your one of a uh, really hard time, and then forget about you. Yeah, it's the forgetting. Just, like, okay, literally. Good for him, honesty. But like, don't tell me you forgot about <laughs> me. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Hashtag honesty. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I know. Lacey's an honest person. I'm like, I do believe he's a very good guy. And I think he'll make a great boyfriend to someone one day. Yeah. But I think he has a lot of maturing and understanding of what a relationship means. Yeah. And if you care about someone, like, even if it's in the early stages, like, you don't abandon someone like that. For sure. I agree with you. Whether, whether it's a relationship or a friendship, you know? Exactly. Like, in any situation during that kind of time, that's not the time to take a step back no. no and like well I was I was working in Asheville when all of that started happening and like all the people I had around yeah. me I literally had just met I'd only known them for my I found out about my group how they're getting in the hospital I think it was my second day of rehearsal I've known these people for two days and yet they were there praying for me they were showing me love they when my grandfather passed and then my first time coming back uh for a show my friends, Alexis, Ava, Lucas, they went and got alcohol. And we hung yeah. out in Alexis's room that night and they, Alexis didn't want me to sleep alone. And like, I had not known these people for a month or yeah. like more than a few weeks. And those were the people who were there for me. And they didn't have to do that. They truly didn't know me. Yeah. But that just goes to show. How like, how simple it can be to just like show that you're there for somebody yeah and I wasn't even asking him to like drive to Asheville to be with me like he's a detective like he works a very stressful busy job yeah. I wasn't asked I was just asking him you know like talk to me you asked me how I was I'm not good <laughs> so why would you leave me <laughs> yeah and like not forget about you mm -hmm. It's really yeah, not no. that hard. Final decision, no second chance for him. Yeah, no second chance. And like, <laughs> besides the fact that like that happened with my grandfather, like I have health issues and like that doesn't go away. And, yeah. that was, and that was one of the things that like my ex and I thought about is how like he wasn't there for me when I was going through a really hard yeah. time with my health problems. And I'm like, if you can't handle that, okay that's fine let me know so I can find someone who can handle that and I'm like if he can't handle uh being with me when a loved one is passing away like he's not going to be there for me when I'm super sick throwing up all night because of my autoimmune disease or when doctors tell me they think I might have cancer because of it like if you're acting that way with a loved one of mine, like, how would you behave with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. Waving high. Waving very yes. high. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And speaking of red flags, another red flag tried popping into my life. Um, he was the guy who stood me up that I drove all the way to that brewery to. Yeah. He mm -hmm. has messaged me like twice in the past month. He's still trying to see me. Him, I'm just like, me out. go away. Like, go away. <laughs> I, know. Nobody, I didn't want to hear from you. Like, 
the second you drove away from the driveway <laughs> and then yet I still no. like why to this day am I still hearing <laughs> from this man no I know you stood me up on our first date and you're still trying to talk to me how months how many months has that been November December January February March five months <laughs> five months and he's still not getting the clue yeah why why this why do men and that is that is probably on if I had to list like my top three questions that'd be on my top three why do men just not get the clue where did their brain cells go when they try when they wait five months to talk to the same woman again who obviously was not interested you know you did something wrong and yet you're going to come back five months later guess what women everything stays in their brains we have the brains of what elephants are elephants the ones who never forget that's that's all women and if the main woman forgot her friends didn't so like why her friends didn't Mm -mm. i just I just don't understand. I, this is like a common problem for all females. We've talked yeah. about it in these episodes, how like, just, I mean, with us, like my, my reoccurring, I, the men who reoccur, just out of nowhere, how are you doing? Yeah. Want to hook up? No. I hooked up with you once. And it's been five months. Half a year ago, like that's it. Yeah. <laughs> if I want to hook up with you, then you know, like. Oh, you'd reach out. You would tell them yeah <laughs> but like speaking of men like there's a guy who messaged me this week or like two weeks ago like there's just been so many like reoccurring characters in my life this past week from a guy out in wisconsin wisconsin oh nine months goodness. ago and i never went out with him i didn't even go out with him and he messaged me and he's like hey like would you like to go out sometime and i was like remind me where you live again <laughs> because that that sounds really bad like I've been everywhere and yeah he's like I live in I forgot where it was in Wisconsin he said and I'm like I'm in North Carolina and he goes oh and I said yeah sorry you missed your chance like what like (laughs) I don't understand that (laughs) it took you nine months to ask me on a date yeah and like what about that what makes you think after nine months now she's gonna say yeah <laughs> like that makes no sense to me oh gosh guys we had some technical difficulties right that major there. <laughs> and I just basically, probably put a little blurt in about it but yeah. basically it took a guy nine months to ask me out on a date and it's nine months too late <laughs> exactly and that's and, and any message you take away from this episode, if a guy waits nine months to finally ask you on a date, don't go. Don't go. Or if you he know? ghosts you and tries to come back into your life a couple of months later, don't do it. Don't do it. Not worth it. That's it. That's the moral of the episode. <laughs> do not like, wait around for a guy who's waiting around period. for you. Um, like, rate, review, subscribe. We are tired and tired of technical difficulties. So I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Victoria. Like, like the, the queen. queen.